Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I need one answer from all of you. Can you hear me? Am I audible to you? I need a thumbs up sign or something on the chat box that can get me sure, sure that you can hear me. Am I audible to all of you? Yes, yes, yes. I've got so many responses there. Yes, alhamdulillah. That's fine. A thumbs up, maybe a thumbs up on your screens. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Alhamdulillah, jazakallah khair. So with that out of the way, let's begin our session today with a dua. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salam, wa ala Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahabihi ajma'een. Muslim Kids TV welcomes you all to the day one of the Steam with Deen Summer Adventure Camp. And we've got a great day planned for all of you and I'm super, super excited. Are you all excited as well? We over here are super excited. Are you guys excited as well? Are you excited to have some fun? I know sitting at home can get so, so boring. So we are going to look forward to have some fun, aren't we? So this is going to be a fun-filled session for you all. Now, before we commence, I'd like to take a moment to talk a little bit about Muslim Kids TV. After all, we've got to be really thankful to them because they're the ones who are organizing this wonderful summer camp for all of you little angels, aren't they? It's a one-stop place for you and your kids so that you can better your religion. You can make our little angels into Islamic role models of the future. Now, what is it about Muslim Kids TV that is so popular with our little Ummah? Why don't we just show you what Muslim Kids TV is all about in a flash 30 seconds? Are you all ready? Are you all ready for this? All right, let's see what Muslim Kids TV has to offer on its platform. Isn't that lovely? Now, all of this can be made available to you. We've got a super exciting offer coming up. We've got a flat 20% discount when you subscribe to muslimkids.tv using that coupon code, which is on your screens. The coupon reads summer camp. So if you're gonna use this coupon code, if you're gonna put summer camp code onto your registrations, you are entitled to get a flat 20% discount on the subscriptions. Make use of this offer while it lasts because it's just valid for a few days, all right? Now, with this out of the way, we can begin day one of our summer camp. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Now, I feel like hearing a story. Do you guys feel like hearing a story? Why don't we try asking someone to tell us a story? Sounds like a plan, doesn't it? Well, Aunt Amira Hashmi is here and she's been kind enough to do just that for us. Well, before we begin, let's just find out who Mrs. Hashmi is. Who is our Aunt Hashmi? Well, she's an elementary school teacher and she is a storyteller while also being the producer and narrator of the podcast show, Once Upon a Crescent Muslim Kids Podcast. So Mrs. Hashmi, the screen, the stage is all yours. Go for it and let our kids have a wonderful time, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. How are you guys? How is everybody doing? I am so happy to be here. So very happy to be here. Um, can you guys see my screen? Can you guys see my screen? Give me a thumbs up. Awesome, awesome. 
All right, we are going to start today with our story, inshallah. Today we are going to read a story together. And I am so happy to be here. You guys have some beautiful faces. I'm so excited. All right, so I am Mrs. Hashmi and I am ready to read. It says Mrs. Hashmi story time. All right, we're going to be reading something called Mama and Lulu, the high speed chase. Mama and Lulu, the high speed chase. Mama and Lulu find trouble visiting the forest in Alberta, Canada. Lulu in here. Whew, are we safe now? I do hope so. Those were mean bees. We were just asking for water. We should teach them a lesson. Some people are just very mean, Lulu. It doesn't mean we should be mean too. Oi, get out of my house. You're not welcome here. That is mean. Do you want to start something, mister? Lulu, we don't hurt others. Lulu, Muslims are supposed to be nice, even if others aren't nice to us. Well, it's not easy being nice when I'm thirsty and having rocks thrown at me. It's very hard to be good sometimes. It reminds me of the story of Prophet Lut. He lived in a town where people were very mean to visitors. Was everyone around him mean to him? Ouch! What was that? This is our land. Get away before I bite you again. Why, I ought to smack you flat, you annoying, mean, little Lulu. We don't hurt others. She started it. I'm still thirsty. But swatting that ant wouldn't have made you any less thirsty. Lulu, you feel better when you please Allah. And being patient pleases Allah. When Prophet Lut was living with these bad people, he never hurt them. He tried to teach and guide them to be better. Did they become better? Well, only some of them. Allah punished the bad people and rewarded the good ones. That's sad, Mama. I'll make sure to be nice to my guests. Oh, look, Mama, water. Ah, <sighs> Mama, I do feel better. And I'm glad I didn't hit the ant or the owl. The end. Today, we're going to be talking about how each and every one of us is like Lulu. We all are like Lulu. Do you know how we all are like Lulu because we feel all of our feelings in our body? Raise your hand at the screen and wave to me if you feel your feelings in your body. When you feel happy, do you feel it in your body? Do you feel like jumping? Do you feel like um, raising your hands? Do you feel like dancing? Yeah, when we are happy, we feel it in our body. Raise your hand or give me a thumbs up at the screen if when you're excited, do you feel it in your body? Do you wanna stomp your feet, run around? Yes, so that means that we all are like Lulu. Lulu feels her feelings in her body. We're gonna ta be talking about a little more of those feelings. Let's talk about a little more of those feelings. When we feel a certain thing, 
it comes, it shows up in our body, just like happiness. When we feel happy, we want to shout and scream, yes. If you can show me a happy dance on, near the screen, that would be so funny. You guys want to show me a happy moment? If I told you that your mom and dad have a brand new toy sitting outside your room, how would you feel? How would you show it in your body? Would you be smiling? Would you be jumping? Raise your hand if that's what you would feel. Let's talk about another feeling. What about angry? When we feel angry, how does it show in our body? Oh, I can definitely see that. When we're angry, our eyebrows come all the way down. Maybe we're we're clenching our hands in a fist. If you're near your screen, show me an angry face. What does it look like to be angry? How does that show up in our body? Let's pretend that you have your favorite toy and your little brother or your little sister walks into the room, snatches the toy and breaks it. <gasps> How would that make you feel? What would your face show? If you're near the screen, show me that face. What would, what would your face show? How would anger show up in your body? I'm going to show you how anger showed up in Lulu's body. On page 21, right over here, we can tell that Lulu is angry. She looks so angry. She says, why I ought to smack you flat, you annoying, mean little, oh, and look at those legs. Does it look like she wants to stomp? Yes. Give me a thumbs up if you can see the anger in Lulu's body. Her eyebrows are down, her eyes are squinting. She is definitely angry. How else do, do feelings show up in our body? Let's see, sadness. When sadness is felt in our body, what does that look like? If you're near screen, you show me a sad face. When you feel sad, do you want to cover your head? Maybe go under a blanket? How would that show up in your body? If someone wants to share what that would feel like or what happens to their body when they feel sad, you can raise your hand. And maybe we can have the moderator unmute you so you can share your answer. All right, I see a lot of hands raised. All right, let me move on. Maybe we can ha have people share answers after. Um, and scared. When we're scared, what does that feel like in our body? Yes, maybe we're shivering. Maybe we're quivering. Maybe we want to find someone that's comforting to us. Maybe we want to run to our mom. Maybe we want to hide behind our um, grandma or our, our dad. When we're scared, we should definitely feel it in our body. And we know that when we're scared, the best way to control that scared feeling is to ask Allah for help. Raise your hand if you ever have made dua when feeling scared. Maybe the thunder was too loud for you. Show in, in your video on your screen, give me a show me a thumbs up or you can even wave to the camera if you've ever made dua during a moment of fear. Yeah, I definitely have. So we all feel our feelings in our body, just like Lulu, even though Lulu is a fake character and she's an illustrated character. It's true. When she felt angry, she wanted to do something about it. And we see that right in this page. She was mad. What happened before this page? She got hurt. She said, ouch, what was that? And someone was mean to her. This is our land. Get away before I bite you again. When someone's mean to us, that brings up an angry feeling. And she wanted to do something about it. She said she was going to do something about it, but her mom stopped her. Lulu, we don't hurt others. That's what her mom said. So when we feel our feelings in our body, 
sometimes we want to take it out on someone else. Raise your hand if you've ever, out of anger or frustration, hit or smack something. Maybe you threw a toy across the room because you were frustrated. You can nod your head yes in the camera if this has ever happened to you. Has that ever happened to you? You're frustrated, you're upset, and you just, ah, you throw it somewhere. Yeah, because our feelings show up in our body. There's one more feeling that I think everyone has felt in their body. It's excitedness. When that comes up, maybe we want to jump up. Maybe we want to say, woohoo. What other words do we say when we're excited? You can write it down in the chat box. Maybe woohoo, maybe yay or hooray. I don't know. What do you guys say when you're excited? And I will tell you what I say when I'm excited. When I'm excited, I say, ee! and then I say, alhamdulillah because I'm happy to have that excited feeling. So we are all like Lulu. We feel our feelings in our body. All right, I have one thing to tell you guys though. When we feel our feelings in our body, this is what we can do. We can pause, we can slow down, and we can reflect. We're gonna practice this together when you feel an angry feeling in your body. And sometimes you know it's coming. Maybe your hands get all closed up. Maybe you shake your fist. It's important to pause in that moment. And when you slow down, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take a deep breath. Everyone take a deep breath with me. Ready? In through the nose. out through the mouth. This helps you manage your feelings. Let's do that again together. Let's do that again. So let's pretend we're feeling an angry feeling in our body. Maybe we feel it right in our chest. Maybe we feel it right in our tummy. Maybe we feel it in our head and we feel like we're just gonna let off some steam. What do we do? We pause, slow down, take a breath and you can reflect after you take your breath there is one thing that is an awesome word awesome phrase to say that will help you you can say astaghfirullah because anger is from shaitan when we're angry shaitan will make us want to do things that we regret kind of like lulu lulu wanted to do so many things out of anger he or she wanted to smack this person, the ant. And you can tell she's very angry right in there. Mm -hmm. When we're angry, we have to be able to stop, pause, slow down with the breath, say astaghfirullah, and think about what's making you angry. I would love to hear from you guys. Can someone share with me one thing that makes them angry, that makes it makes them angry and they can feel it in their body? Maybe we can have someone share with us their answer. Uh, hi. Stealing. Stealing. Wow, that is a great answer. That would make me angry too. Um. Something sometimes my brother angers me, so so I get um angry. And what do you feel? Where where do you feel it? Do you can, can you feel it in Miss me? Miss. Mm hmm. When you fight. Yes, that's so true. When we're fighting, that comes out. It just spills out of our body. Um, when break their stuff, or when somebody does stuff without permission. Excuse me. Hello. Miss. Yes. All right. I'm gonna call. I, I, I'm gonna ask you to unmute, and then we can have every, more people share their answers. Um, if I call your name, I see Aksa. Aksa has her hand raised. I'm gonna ask you to unmute. 
Mm -hmm. When when my brother takes my toy. Yes, that is so common. Many kids feel the same way. When somebody takes something from us, when they snatch something, the first immediate thing is like, you want to hit them back. You might want to push them back. But as we've learned, what do you think we should do instead based on what we've learned today? What do you think we can do instead of pushing or hitting back? We can pause. Imagine your emotions have a button on them and you just push the pause button. You tell yourself, hold on one second, pause. And when you slow down, you would take a deep breath. This is amazing to do for our body. It actually calms your jittery nerves down. Everyone try to take a deep breath with me. It's not something you do on a regular basis, but I promise you this strategy will help you even when you're 45 years old, even when you're 70 years old. All right, let's try it together one more time. So you push the button on that emotion and then you pause. Breathe. You can say astaghfirullah. And then you can slow down that way. Yes. I am so glad to hear you guys uh, and your and your responses. It's been really nice to hear from you all. Does anyone else want to share? I like to hear. Yes, I would love to hear from you. So when my sister smacks my toys at me, I some sometimes when my sister smacks my toys at me, I feel so angry that I strike back at her. I push her like boom, and then um, she strikes back at me and we fight, but then I stop. I press the pause button, then... That um, is awesome. Push the pause button. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. Uh-huh. And then? And then I calm down, and then I reflect. Yes. And when you're reflecting, what do you say? I say, stock for a while. Yeah, you can say astaghfirullah, and that will definitely help calm your feelings down. Does um does anyone else feel a different feeling in their body? Some people want to hit. Some people might want to run away when they're angry. Has anyone had that experience when they're really mad that they just want to run away and hide somewhere? Raise your hand if that's ever been your experience. Yeah, I see nine people have raised their hand. Yes. I'm going to ask, um, can I ask, hmm, I'm trying to find someone who has their hand raised. Oh, there you are. Can I ask um, Mohid? Is that your name, sweetie? Mohid and Hajra. I'm going to ask you to unmute. Can you tell me about your experience? When you feel angry, what does it feel like for you in your body? So I feel like that I'm going to like, I'm going to like hit them. But sometimes I feel like I'm going to like tell or do something to them, about like run or hit or do something. But, what, but when I do it, I just feel, I just feel like that like, I I feel like that I should not do this since uh, that that I uh, yeah you feel like oh maybe I shouldn't do this so that yeah. means that you are reflecting you're thinking about your actions and I think that is so important. So I love what you said. So you actually do think about it. And this is very normal, you guys. When we feel our feelings, every human being will feel it in their, in their body. But the challenge is to push a pause button on your feeling. You, you can feel it. Yes, you can feel your feelings as long as you don't dump it on someone else. Who wants their feelings to be dumped on them? I'm not having a bad day, 
I would not want someone to dump their feelings on me. So I'm going to ask you guys to um, mute again, and we're going to read the story one okay. time. And this time, let's see where Lulu could have paused, where she could have slowed down, and where she could have reflected. So we're, let's go through the story one more time. If we, if Lulu knew these answers, where could she practice this new strategy? So let's go back to the story. Where, where could she have paused? Where could she have push that pause button on her feelings. All right, let's read it one more time, just quickly over here. All right, Mama and Lulu, the high speed chase. Mama and Lulu find trouble visiting the forest in Alberta, Canada. Lulu, in here, phew, are we safe now? I do hope so. Those were mean bees. We were just asking for water. We should teach them a lesson. Look at that. Does someone feel angry in this page? Give me a thumbs up if you agree. <laughs> yeah. Some people are just very mean, Lulu. It doesn't mean we should be mean too. Oy, get out of my house. You're not welcome here. Hey. Someone else should be using the strategy. Raise your hand if you agree that the owl could pause, could breathe and reflect too. Feels like a lot of these characters should be doing the same. That is mean. Do you want to start something, mister? <laughs> now you can see that it's like a cycle. He's dumping his anger on Lulu and Lulu wants to dump it right back on the owl. If someone were just to pause and breathe and reflect, maybe we wouldn't have this situation. Lulu, we don't hurt others. Lulu, Muslims are supposed to be nice, even if others aren't nice to us. Well, it's not easy being nice when I'm thirsty and having rocks thrown at me. It's very hard to be good sometimes. It reminds me of the story of the prophet Lut. He lived in a town where people were very mean to visitors. Was everyone around him mean to him? Ouch, what was that? This is our land. Get away before I bite you again. Hmm, looks like someone else could have paused, could have took a deep breath and reflected. Maybe if the ant would have reflected, maybe the ant would have said something different. Like, oh, hey, you're on my land. Um, this is where we live. Maybe that conversation would have been different. Who agrees with me? Maybe things would have gone different if someone could have controlled their emotions. Why I ought to smack you flat, you annoying, mean little. Oh, and there you see it in her body, the anger showing up in her eyes, in her arms, and in her feet. Lulu, we don't hurt others. She started it. I'm still thirsty, but swatting that ant wouldn't have made you any less thirsty. Mm -hmm, that is very true. Hitting someone would not make you less thirsty. Lulu, you feel better when you please Allah and being patient pleases Allah. When Prophet Lut was living with these bad people, he never hurt them. He tried to teach them and guide them to be better. Did they become better? Well, only some of them. Allah punished the bad people and rewarded the good ones. That's sad, Mama. I'll make sure to be nice to my guests. Okay, seems like finally Lulu has reflected. Oh, look, Mama, water. Mama, I do feel better, and I'm glad I didn't hit that ant or the owl. The end. Well, I really hope that you guys will practice what we learned here. And like I said, this will help you wherever you are. When you feel your feelings in your body, just pause, slow down with the breath, say astaghfirullah, and reflect. Think about what's making you angry. And inshallah, you will find this helpful. I really enjoyed story time with you guys. Thank you all. 
Khairan, sister. Your storytelling has been amazing. That was just wonderful, wasn't it, kids? I mean, I had such a good time listening to Mrs. Hashmi talk about Mama and Lulu and how cute are they? I mean, mashallah, Mama and Lulu are my favorite. I just wish I could be a child again. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, it was just amazing. Thank you so much. We learned so much, didn't we, kids? Just We're so going to for having me. Yes, thank you so much, Alhamdulillah. We're going to pause, we're going to reflect, and we are going to keep our anger in control, isn't it? Even adults should be keeping their anger in control, not just kids, isn't it? And I just got myself thinking into a poem, you know, I just made a poem. Would you guys like to hear the poem? And you got to tell me how it was, all right? So I just made up something on the spot. Control your anger as much as you can, be a mus good Muslim, and then we'll be your fan. How was it? Lovely. I know you guys. <laughs> Lovely. I really loved it. Amazing. Well, I mean, I tried, but just let's see how the kids have found it. <laughs> Anyways, kids, the things are not over yet. We have finished our story time, but that doesn't mean the excitement is going to go any lower at Muslim Kids TV Summer Camp, is it? We're going to try a hand with something innovative, something fun, and something to keep you guys occupied, all right? And we've got Aunt Soraya with us. She's all excited to have you with her, and she can't wait to share what she's thought out for us. I can't wait for it. Can you guys wait? Let's rush to see what she's up to. But before that, let's have a word on what she does actually she is a homeschooling mama she is a content creator and she's a scouts volunteer and she uses her instagram platform to showcase nature exploring and learning through play now that is some kind of learning i like i don't like the school learning this learning is something that i'm going to enjoy excited children we're going to have aunt Soraya with us stage is all yours alaikum everybody I hope you are all doing well. I'm just wondering if my screen is, um, can you all see me in the main screen? Yeah, I see a nice thumbs up from AXA. Thank you so much. Okay, so today we're going to continue from the lovely, lovely story that Mrs. Hashmi was um, reading to us. We're going to continue talking about anger. But this time we're going to learn a lesson about anger through science. Okay, so I'm just going to change my camera so you can all see the experiment. I know some of you will be continuing, uh, will be doing the experiment with me. Can you give me a thumbs up if you're going to do the experiment with me? If you're going to, if you've got your egg and your glass and your water. Yes, okay, Abdul Najib, thank you. Okay, fantastic. Okay, and if you're not going to do the experiment and you're going to watch along, that's absolutely fine as well. Now, we are going to first start off with our little egg. Now, I've got a little egg here. I've named him Zachariah. And I've drawn, drawn well, I have, and my son has drawn him a little tuppy and a little thobe. And he's going to be my little mini Muslim for today. Now, if you've got your black, permanent marker and your egg you can spend roughly a few minutes to draw your little muslim on your egg and remember to be very gentle with your little egg because we don't want to break it do we so you can draw it how my son isa has or you can just draw a little stick man or write a muslim name it's up to you whatever you want to do I'm trying to give mine a little hijab. I'm going to make a little Muslim, Muslima this time. And I will name her Sarah. This is my little Muslima, Sarah, and this is my little Muslima, Zakaria. I'll give you a few seconds to finish. Okay. So what we are going to do, we're going to do a little science experiment. And as we do the science experiment, we're going to learn a very important lesson about anger. Now, 
Zachary here is feeling a little bit frustrated. He's feeling a little bit upset. We are going to put Zachariah into this glass, which is the state of anger. Okay, but we have to be very, very gentle when we're putting him in. You can tilt the glass slightly so that we don't break the egg. We don't want to throw the egg into the glass. We don't want to drop it either. Okay, so nice and gently in the glass. He's feeling really upset. He's feeling very angry and he's right at the bottom. We are going to pour some water. Has everyone got their water? Jug of water. Yes. Very good. We're going to pour some water halfway through the glass, not all the way. I'm going to stop around here. Now, as you can see, Zakaria is still sunken. He's still drowning at the bottom of the water because he's feeling anger in his heart. And that anger is dragging him down. Now, as the lovely Mrs. Hashmi has taught us, anger makes us feel quite heavy, doesn't it? It's not a very nice feeling to have. So this is what happens to us. Our heart becomes so heavy when we're feeling angry and we start to sink and we start to feel a drowning feeling. Now, we are now going to add a special little medicine into this state of anger to help us come out of it, okay? Now, this special little medicine we're going to make with more water. Yeah, that's right, ZR, fantastic, ready with your water. We're going to pour another half a glass of water. We're going to make some medicine to make Zachariah feel better and come out of the state of anger. In this plain glass of water, we are going to add some salt. Now, I hope you all have your tablespoon ready. We're going to put four tablespoons of salt into this plain glass of water. So that's going to be, you can count along with me if you want to. I will slow down a bit for you all. That's one. Uh, three, one more. Firoza, such lovely concentration there, mashallah. Well done. You're all doing so great. Four. I'll give you a few, I'll give you a minute to catch up with me. And if you could give me a little thumbs up with your hands to show me when you have done all four. Fantastic. Well done. Now we're going to get a spoon and we're going to give this a mix. Okay. Now here is where we are making our special medicine to come out of the state of anger. Now these are some special words that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has taught us. Can everyone say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? These special words are A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. Can everyone say A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. Now whilst you're stirring the salt, mixing the salt with the water, you can keep saying it. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tells us that when we are feeling angry, when we say these words, then anger will be removed away from us. And we want to see if this works with Zachariah, who's still feeling very angry at the bottom of the glass, isn't he? We need to help him. We need to make sure we give it a nice mix. All the salt should be mixed in with the water. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Nice mix. Okay, once you think you've done mixing, 
I'll give you all a few a little while to keep mixing. I can see lots of nice arm work going on. Well done. Thank you for Rosa. Well done, ZR. Have a look. Oh, well done, Saif and Rahma. Well done. MashaAllah. Okay, now what we're going to do now is we're going to give Zakaria this little medicine. And while we're pouring it in, you can use your right hand if you're right-handed, left hand if you're left-handed, it's up to you because I know one of sometimes we have one hand stronger than the other. While we pour in the medicine, we are going to say the special words again. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Now, as you can see, Zakaria is starting to float. And he has come out of the state of anger. He, is anyone else's egg floating? I can see Feroza's one has rise to the top. If, you're, if your egg isn't floating, perhaps you haven't put enough salt in. There is, a, there is a science lesson behind this experiment, okay? When we have Zacharia inside the plain glass of water, Zacharia, the egg, was more dense than the water. He was heavier than the water. What did we put into the plain glass of water to make the water more dense? You can put your hands up if you want to give it a, give a, if you want to guess your try and guess an answer. What did we put in the glass to make the egg float? You put salt in the glass and it made the egg float. Very good. Well done. Thank you so, very much. Yes, very good. Well done. We can we can meet us up now. We put it all so, yes. salt water. Yes, very good, Bilal. Well done. We put salt in the water, and the salt water is more dense than the egg. That's why the egg has now rise to the top. So this is when we feel angry, next time we feel any sort of anger, I want us to remember to say, A'udhu billahi min shaitani rajim. When we're angry, I want us to remember Zachariah the egg and how low he felt and how he was he sunk to the bottom of the glass. And we don't want to feel like that. We don't want to feel like we're drowning in anger. We want to feel uplifted. We want to feel light. So when we say those special words, that we, our heart will start to float again and we'll feel light again and we'll feel better, inshallah. Now, I don't know if you all know, there's actually a sea. We have a special sea called the Dead Sea. Has anyone heard of the Dead Sea? Give me a thumbs up if you've heard of the Dead Sea. Okay, I see some thumbs up. Yes, the Dead Sea is called the Dead Sea because there is a lot of salt in the Dead Sea. There are nine times more salt in the Dead Sea than there is in a normal sea, in the normal ocean. That's why it's called the Dead Sea because fish cannot survive there. The only thing that can about survive in the Dead Sea is actually bacteria. So no life. And if you want to, you can give yourself a little homework and you can do some research on the Dead Sea and you will see there are people floating in the water and they're reading books in the water. They're floating. They're not going to drown. They're not going to sink because there's a lot of salt in that water and it's more dense than they are. It is more heavy than they are. Now, we learned a very important lesson here today about, um, about anger. Now, we've learned from lovely Mrs. Hashmi that when we say astaghfirullah, it helps us to come out of the state of anger. Can you, can anyone tell me what special word they learned in this lesson that helps us to come out of the state of anger? Oh, fantastic. Well done. We say, A'udhu billahi min shaitanir rajim. This comes from a very, very special hadith from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says to us that, uh, one of the Sahabas tells us a story that there were two men who were sitting in the company of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they were arguing, they were quarreling, just like we do sometimes with our siblings or with maybe with a friend or sometimes with our parents and that's not very good, is it? 
And one of the men, he started to get very angry and he was starting to show on his face, just like Lulu from the story. He was, he was starting to get red. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa yes, Rosa, can everyone show me the red face? Where is the red face? Yes, well done, guys. Yes, that's how we feel. We start to get very angry and he was showing in his face. So imagine when the anger shows in our face, imagine what it's doing to our heart. We can't see the heart, but we know that if it's showing this red in our face, then imagine what it's doing to our heart. And we don't want that. We want to keep our hearts nice and clean. So next time we feel angry, we say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajim, because that's what the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that's why he advised that man. He said to that man, I can tell you of some words that will help you come out of this anger. And he said to him, say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajim. And that is how we will, inshallah, float and come out of the state of anger, just like Zachariah did. Yes? I hope you have all learned a little bit of science mixed with a little bit of our beautiful Dean here. Did everyone learn something here? Yes? Did everyone know that egg will float in salt water? Yes. Oh, fantastic. Yes. Well done. Oh, nice big thumbs up from Ayan. Yes. Well, did that yes. Yes. like science? No. Yes. 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 No, this is no. Because yes. I did. Yes, science sometimes can be a little bit challenging, but it's also very fun if we can use our hands and learn beautiful stories behind them, isn't it? Now, remember to do some research, research on the Dead Sea as well. Um, and inshallah, I hope you all had a lovely time. I want to thank you all so much for listening. I, I can see your egg floating, Feroza. Very good. Can I see if anyone else's egg that's floating? Oh, Aksa. Very good. MashaAllah. Anyone else? Oh, Humeha is also floating. Fantastic. Amin, Muhammad, Fatima. You all are such brilliant scientists, MashaAllah. You have all learned today that Salt water is more dense than an egg. Okay. What does more dense mean? Can someone tell me what something what, what it means when something is more dense? Heavy, heavy. Yes, it's when something is more heavy because it has more particles that are closed in together. It makes it more heavy. You can even in your own time try and do some little experiments yourself and see what floats in the water and what doesn't float in the water. I hope you've all had a fantastic time. I want to thank you all for being so brilliant, for cooperating and listening so well. And I want to thank Muslim Kids TV for also providing us this wonderful opportunity to bring us all together from all around the world. Alhamdulillah. So Safa, I will, inshallah, pass it on back to you. Thank you so much. Jazakallah khair. Aunt Soraya has been fantastic, isn't it? I just love that experiment. I just love learning so much. What am I taking from this session? A'udhu billahi min shaytan al-rajim. The true tool we have at hand, what Allah has bestowed upon us in order to make sure we don't get angry. And even if we do, which is quite natural that we do, we know how to control it because we've got a perfect plan by Aunt Amira and Aunt Soraya. We're going to pause, we're going to reflect, and we're going to say, and we're going to say, Astaghfirullah, what wonderful tools has Allah given us? Isn't it, kiddos? We're going to do it. We're going to try it every time we get angry, right? So that's it for today. That's the wonderful session we had for today. I hope you all had a wonderful time, and so did we at Muslim Kids TV. Do not forget to register at Muslim Kids TV with, yes, yes, Feroza, I see your wonderful egg that's floating, alhamdulillah. That's wonderful. So I hope you do register on www.muslimkids.tv with your fantastic coupon code that says summer camp for a 20% discount. And we hope to see you for the next session, which will be on the 8th of August, same time, same link. And for another fun session that we're going to bring in this summer, be sure to sign in. We've got good rewards for those who attend all five days of the sessions. What is that gift? 
100% attendance. Now at school, 100% attendance doesn't get us anything. But at Muslim Kids TV, 100% attendance is going to get us a wonderful certificate of awesomeness for having been part of this wonderful camp. Are you guys all excited for that certificate? I want to see 100% attendance from all of you on all five days, inshallah. Before we end the session, let's all make du'as as we've been very grateful to Allah for this wonderful day. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaykum everybody. See you soon. Bye bye. Jazakallah khair for attending the session. Assalamu alaykum. Bye bye.